Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys returning, welcome back to our channel. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Scorpios, let's see how April is going to be for you guys. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirits, ancestors, and archangels, please guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2022. How are you doing, Scorpio? How are you enjoying spring? Wherever you are, wherever part of the world, us here in California, it is crazy hot. <laughs> it's been, uh, the change has been very drastic, um, but pretty nice. All right, let's see what is unfolding for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of April, 2022. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpios. All right, your first card here is the Seven of Swords, okay? So there is a bit of restriction here for this month of April. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be hearing news getting clarity in regards to a situation that has you a bit confused. For some of you guys, there is a bit of denial going on or perhaps not wanting to see things clearly for what they are, kind of uh, deceiving or lying to yourself. The next card here is the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a drastic change that is unfolding in regards to a situation where you've been wanting clarity or you've been having doubts about something or someone. Uh, the tie is quickly changing, so you can expect some type of revelation for the month of April. And um, all points to, all things point to a situation in regards to love and romance. So for some of you guys in the month of April, you're going to be getting clarity in regards to doubts or fears that you've been holding on to. Um, feeling a bit confused, not really having much clarity. Things are going to start to unfold for you for this month of April. I do want to mention for some of you guys, it is clarity, like I said, in regards to a relationship. Now, relationship or partnership doesn't necessarily have to be love. It can be with family members. It could be with partners in the business uh, field um, or in the business area. Uh, however, there is, uh, I feel like this is much needed clarity. Uh, for some of you guys, like I said, a revelation is coming through in the month of April that is going to give you clarity, but I feel like for some of you guys, it's something that you kind of have been feeling intuitively, perhaps denying to yourself or not wanting to accept what is. Um, and the two of wands here. So yeah, there is something that you've been, you've been debating, Scorpio. Now for some of you guys, this could be a relationship. This could be getting clarity, um, getting a revelation in regards to your partner or person of interest that will be revealing some type of feelings, um, whether it's good or bad. Um, it is a general reading, so it could just depend for many different, uh, for many of you guys, it could be very different. But there is definitely something here that you've been kind of been ignoring um, I feel like there's been, they've been sounding the alarm or giving you uh, some type of uh, guidance, some type of push, being able to show you the red flags. And there's been a refusal of seeing, like I said, seeing that or accepting that. A lot of the times when we are dealing with partnerships or relationships um, that often have us feeling like, uh, you know, things, we're hoping things will get better. Um, and sometimes it is wishful thinking, um, because they are in the current circumstance showing you through actions, right? That they either don't care, or they're not putting effort or at some point even walking away or distancing themselves from you. Um, there, there is something that you've been denying here that you haven't been wanting to accept. And in this month of April, you're going to be getting that clarity. Now for others of you, this can symbolize, um, you know, getting, you've been denying your feelings for someone. Uh, you've been, you know, keeping them at arm's length. And for some of you guys, there's going to be a situation that's quickly going to be evolving. 
Uh, there is definite change here, whether you're ready or not. And for some of you guys, it could be that you are put in a situation where there is a need to speak up. There is a need for you to be transparent with your feelings. And though it may be an uncomfortable situation for you, Scorpio, it is much needed because this is going to bring balance and it's going to bring uh, momentum. It's going to bring movement, something that perhaps you've been uh, feeling a little bit stuck in regards to this situation, but there are definitely revelations coming for you in the month of April. Um, like I said, it's it, for some of you guys, it's great news. For others, um, it could just represent um, you being the one that is denying some type of feelings or not wanting to confess your feelings or not wanting to be completely um, honest with your partner. And uh, circumstances are going to be unfolding where you're being put in a situation that is much needed for you to fully express and no longer deny yourself or deny your feelings for someone. Now, in for others of you, <clears throat> the message I'm getting here is you could have met someone um, recently that was very a very complex situation. It's almost like you feel... Uh, that you guys were put in each other's path for a reason. Um, the Wheel of Fortune always speaks about change. Um, sometimes it's good change, sometimes it's bad change, just depending on uh, the circumstances. But um, there is definitely a clarification or a clarity or some type of acknowledgement that it wasn't accidental. The person that you met or that you've been dealing with. I feel like things are going to st start to fall into place um, where the universe is going to be giving you these signals or going to be giving you um, almost like putting you in the same vicinity of the person of interest or the person that you're dealing with. If there could be a moment of, you know, open hearted conversation um, and someone is revealing their emotions or feelings for you. Um, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. I wish you guys all the best. Until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.